Hi. In this video, we'll try to prove the, the following statements on sets. And the idea of the video is not necessarily that we know that this statement is true, because that's uh, kind of easy to see, um, but that we see some techniques to actually formulate a proof and to, so to convince the rest of the world that, that your theorem is true. So let's take a look at what this theorem says. So we have two sets. So I drew them here in the Venn diagram notation. And then we want to show that two other sets that are related to these are equal. So we have, so the intersection of A and B, so that's this part here in the middle, but then we want the complement of it. So everything that is not in this middle part. So everything that is outside and everything that is in this set here and everything that is here and so all of the outside. And on the other side, we have uh, two separate sets where we take the union. So we have the complement of, uh, of A, so everything that is not in A. So let me use a, a different color for this. So everything that is outside of A, unrelated of what is in B, and then everything that is outside of B. So we additionally get all of this. So from this picture, I hope it's a bit clear, you can already uh, see that this will probably be true, but of course this is not a very formal proof. So let's try to write down a formal proof. So to prove that two sets are equal, we always need to show two things. Namely, that if we have one thing in the first set, then it's also in the set second set. And if we have some element in the second set, then it's in the first set. Uh, so formally, let's write it down. So we have to prove, uh, prove two things. So the first thing is, is that this first set so for any element in the set, it is in the second set. So that means that it is a subset of this second set. And so the second thing that we have to prove is the reverse. So if we have the second set, then that is actually a subset of the first one. So let's start with this, this first statement here. So we want to prove that this is a subset of the other one. So let's start with one. So we pick one element in the first set. So let x be an element of, remember this notation, of this set. So what does that actually mean that x is in the set? Well, oh, I misplaced my bracket here. Let me change it, otherwise this doesn't really make sense. So because x is in the complement of this set, uh, that means that x is not in the set that is in the middle here. So the intersection of A and B. So if x is not in the intersection of A and B, then it either is not in A, or it's not in B, or it's not in both. That's also okay. So then oh, either X is not in A, and or X is not in B. So let's uh, look at these two cases separately. So first, if X is not in A, so if x is not in A, then x is in A complement by definition. So x is in A complement. And if we look at these original sets here, that we take a union of A complement and B complement. So everything that is either in A complement or B complement is in this set. So that means that x is in this 
union. Now, of course, we also need to look at the case where x is not in B. So similarly, because it's symmetrical, um, so if x not in B, then x is in B complement, so x is in this union. So that concludes the first part that we had to prove. So we know now that if we have some element in the first set, it's also in the second set. So now we still have to prove it the other way around. So let's start with that. So again, we take some element in one of the sets. So now we take an element from this set here. So A complement union B complement. So again, we have two cases because we have a union. So then we know that either uh, x is in A complement or x in B complement, or both. Again, we uh, look at these cases separately. So if x is in the first case, so if x is in A complement, then x is not in this set A because it's in the complement. Um, and that means that x is not in the union, uh, the intersection of A and B, because if x is not in this set A, then it will never be in this middle part here. So x is uh, not in the intersection of A and B. And then this is exactly what we have here, but then we take the complement, so that means that this not changes into an is in, so x is in the complement of the intersection. And then uh, similarly for the other case, which is again completely symmetrical, so if x in B complement, then x is not in B. So x is not in the union, uh, the intersection, sorry. So x is in this complement set. So then we have proved the second statement, and with these two, it actually follows that these two sets are equal. So we have this is equal to the union of these complements. So then we are done, and then we write this nice little square to show that our proof is done. <laughs> <laughs>